Welcome to Small Talk. My name is David Shaw. A little while ago I was in a meeting and one of the people in the meeting said the situation we're facing is two monologues looking for a dialogue. It beautifully described the situation that we were in at the time and actually I think it describes a good number of situations. I phoned the guy up afterwards and said what was that phrase? And he apparently, he said to me, that's something that Sir Terry Wogan used to say. I think that phrase, two monologues looking for a dialogue, accurately and actually describes a good number of situations that uh, are facing us in our world at the moment. I'm told that social media is so cleverly engineered with its algorithm that... Uh, it works out what our views are, what our monologues are, and then it feeds it with things that support our view and our monologue. And so we don't get to hear different opinions. But I don't want to blame social media. That just simply reflects on what happens in what I would call real life. We tend to find people who agree with us, whose views are the same as us. So I ask you, in the Brexit conversation, did you know many people, if you were a Remainer, did you know many people who were uh, Brexiteers? And if you were a Brexiteer, did you know many Remainers? I wonder. I wonder if that phrase, two monologues looking for a dialogue, accurately describes the situation that we have in America. I was in a church council recently where we were discussing whether we should open our church up or not in this pandemic. We are legally al allowed to do so. And I'm proud to say that although people felt passionately on both sides of that, it felt as if there was a true dialogue. And what made the difference was the capacity of people to listen. They listened without trying to jump in and put their point of view, their side of the argument. It was actually a very, very precious time. I wonder what Bible passage or part of the scriptures this brings to mind for you. And I invite you to sort of open the treasure chest that is the book of Romans and hunt out the, the gem casket that is Romans chapter 12 and then open that and you will see gems of one-liners that describe how we are to relate. Now none of them talk about listening but what they describe is the attitude that we should have in our engagement with others that would enable monologues to become dialogues. And so in Romans chapter 12 we read some of these words. Honour one another above yourselves. Possibly that means that the person who has a different opinion you don't think of an idiot which to my shame I've sometimes thought when I've heard people on the radio uh, giving counter opinions. Honour one another, uh, others above yourselves. Live in harmony with one another. That doesn't just mean tolerate people. It means actually enable what they have to become important to you even if in the end you don't believe it, but enable contrary views to live together so that they are living together in such a way as to blend something that is beautiful and attractive. And then from the words of the message, some don't hit back, discover beauty in everyone. When you're involved in something that you believe is really important, some of the opinions that can come back to you, some of the monologues that can come in your direction, can hurt and sting. And the scripture, according to this translation, the message, don't hit back. Do not repay evil for evil. And then, 
view the other as beautiful. Yeah, even the person who's in your mind at this moment. Thank you.